act two of the drowsy chaperone begins with this. A haunting lament. There comes the bride. She takes it while standing on her balcony.
Happy Berkeley, a little Jane Goodall. <laughs> and that's another thing I like about musical theater in general. When a character's in crisis, they sing and they dance, which is much more interesting than whining about it. <laughs> that's the beauty of musical theater. You see this? This is life! You have to be happy for five seconds and then something starts ringing. <laughs> Should I have the pews moved now, or should I wait until morning? Okay, I'm going to stop here, because I don't want this number ruined by our ringing telephone. Here we have two vaudeville performers who've slipped through the crack of time. They are Noel Fitzpatrick and Ukulele Lil. I don't know anything about them. I suppose Ukulele Lil played the ukulele. <coughs> Although she doesn't in this show. I actually tried to find out more about her. I looked through all my books. I even tried the internet. But all my searches ended up with tiny Tim autopsy photographs. <laughs> anyway, they're both charming. Why would you have the pews removed? The bride has called off the wedding, madam. Oh, never listen to a bride on your wedding day. Love is a very complex emotion under me. Yes, madam. You can be very close to someone one minute, and why the next? You, you just want to strangle them! <laughs> Do you understand? I'm familiar with your urge to strangle. Yes. You see, that's just the nature of the love. Love makes lovers worry. Love makes lovers fret. But here's a fact on which we can depend. Just like long ago when Romeo left Juliet, love is always lovely to the end. But Romeo and Juliet was a tragedy, madam. Oh, I never read the reviews. <laughs> love can start a quarrel, love can cause a din, but love has always been a trusty friend. Twas a happy fate for him. Yeah, Madam, that Anne Boleyn lost her head. Yes, she was in love. <laughs> love was good for even had to Here play. we go again. Samson and Delilah, too. Good grief. May I pose a question, Madam? Why, yes, of course. Why does nothing I say to you ever get through? Don't mind if I do. Go to 
to the wedding looking like that. You poor dear, you haven't heard. The wedding's been called off. Not your wedding, mine. Oh, that reminds me. Might I borrow your veil? You're getting married, but to who? Beautiful lady with baffled expression. You're marrying Aldolfo? I know it's surprising, but when I look into his eyes, his big, clumsy eyes, I get all drowsy. And that's love, isn't it? Yes, dear. That is love. Help me. <laughs> I gotta put all my cards on the table. I've got a weak heart and can't take the pressure. If this goes on any longer, well, the old ticket's just gonna give out. Please, tell me, is there going to be a wedding or not? Yes. Thank the good Lord in heaven! Aldolfo and the chaperone are getting married. What? There you are! We have wonderful news! There's gonna be a wedding! We know. But how do you know? We just heard. But who told you? I did. But how did you know? What difference does it make? Mrs. Altonelle and I will be married in the garden at 7.30 this evening. What? What? Oh, yes! <laughs> Congratulations to everyone. What kind of cockamamie wedding is this? Everyone's getting married but the bride and groom. There you are. Aunt oh, Janet, I've been looking everywhere for you. Hello, Mr. Martin. Please don't be that way. Can't you find a silver in your heart to marry me? Janet, it is our wedding day. George has gone through all this trouble, and well, I do love you more than I can say. But you kissed another woman! Yes, and I just don't understand it. This may sound ridiculous, but when I kissed that French girl, why, it was just like kissing you. Oh, Robert, you were kissing me. Wait, you're me? Well, that French accent was remarkably accurate. Why, thank you. I developed it when I played the role of Moni in Hold That Baguette. There you are. Before you do anything, think about this. No matter how well you play the part of the happy wife, you'll never ever get a standing ovation. I don't know. I'm still so confused. Chaperone, please, I beg you. Just this one time, give me some advice that is coherent and appropriate to the situation. Should I marry Robert? Okay, here it is. The moment I was talking about. Not only the culmination of a, the plot, but a moment that has fascinated me more than any other and has brought me back to this record again and again. Okay, here it is. Well, my advice to you is... Listen, here it comes. While you can. <laughs> See? Can't quite make out what she says because someone dropped the cane. Here, I'll play it for you again. While you can. Is she saying live while you can? Or leave while you can? While you can. I mean, it's Beatrice Stockwell, so it might be a cynical clip. But this is a wedding, after all. And that's exactly what you think when you're standing at the altar, isn't it? Live or leave? And you have to live. Because you do love him some way. It's not an exact science. It's an arrow doesn't fall from the sky and point to the one you're supposed to be with. So, what day do you say it? You say, I love you. And you basically phrase it as a question and they accept it as a fact. And then there you are standing in front of a mirror in a $3,000 dress with tear stains in your eyes and stuff you brought the hoopah. And what do you say then? Do you say, I was kidding. I was joking. No, you live, right? For the first couple of months you stare at the alien form of bed beside you. And you think to yourself, who are you? Who are you? And then one day you say it out loud. And then it's trial separation and couples counseling. And all your conversations are about your OCD and his gambling addiction. You're constantly redefining and reinventing and reevaluating until suddenly you lose deposit on the house. And the whole relationship ends on a particularly ugly note with your only copy of Gypsy spinning through the air and smashing against the hiring room wall. But still, in the larger sense, in the broader sense, it's better to have lit than left. Right? Well, you can. You have no idea how many times I've listened to that. 
<laughs> you certainly do have a way with words, chaperone. Robert, my answer is yes. I will marry you. Wonderful! Wonderful! Well, this the bounce it looks like this wedding is a done deal. Now you're in trouble, and there's nothing you can do about it. But there is. I found a replacement. A new leading lady. Presenting Kitty and Credible. Okay, Kitty, now concentrate. And show these boys how you can read my mind. My mind.
Hello? Electro. Yes? <laughs> yeah, we had to shut off the power because we're replacing the breaker panel in the basement. Yes? So, we replaced it, but when we shut the power off, all the breakers in the apartment stripped. Yes. That's what happened. It's normal. Yes. So, I gotta reset your breakers. Now? It'll only take a second. All right, all right, all right. Because I tried calling you before, but there was no answer. <laughs> oh, I've been having troubles with my phone. <laughs> I'm an axe, waiting to happen. I'm a 